Welcome back to the channel guys, having a quad billy garage day, bringing to you some new characters. We got old uh, Randy. Mongo. <laughs> Mongo. I'm the brains of the outfit. <laughs> Mongo like pizza. <laughs> we got a bunch of crap to get installed. Uh, what do we got, Brian? We got the headlight guard for the KRX and taillight guard for the KRX. And we're going to redo the uh, mud guards. Yeah, 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 mud guards. Yeah. Okay, you see these things from, uh, I think it's from Super ATV. Yeah, they, they do absolutely nothing. This has been washed, by the way, before we could even bring it home from Hatfield McCoy. My niece sat in there. She made a mud ball bigger than her head. It's still in there? Yeah, it's still on the other side. Where? On the floor on the other side. <laughs> I can't see it in there. We'll have to dig it out. We're going uh, <laughs> to enjoy a few of, uh, few of these today as well. Well, they will. And then... Uh, why don't you cut crap, some of this crap up, Brian? Let's see what we got going on. Knife up on top of the. Where's your uh, crocodile dundee? Crocodile dundee. Knife. Oh. <laughs> that ain't a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> That's not a penis. <laughs> What's that? That's not a penis. <laughs> That's That's half the battle, I take it. And what's that, the rear? Do not give this to Mongo, but choke on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're used to <laughs> That's the rear for the KRX. Yeah, that's, the that's the front. front. Turn that around and get a look at it. Set that up there. Oh, yeah, man. That's beefy. Oh, that's going to be badass. Sweet. What else we got kicking? Uh, this parts for your <clears throat> wheeler. The A arms and the. Uh, yeah, I'll go into that in a few minutes on that. Mm -hmm. Explain what's going on with, the, with that. Dig that thing open. Why don't you give me a hand there, Mon Mongo? <laughs> huh? Brain, that's the brawn. Mongo is my name. Whatever you do, make sure you throw away the instructions. <laughs> At best. Oh shit. They sent me the wrong part. Is that the front whole front bumper? Or is that the rear bumper? Yeah. That's yeah, that's for the rear, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not the the tail leg guards. Yeah. Well, look, like that's going back. What else we got? Throw, Throw that one back. back. Throw that one back. No, 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 no. That's the uh, that's for the sportsman. That's for the 850. That's the rear bumper for the 850. Oh. That's okay. mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, don't bang it all up. So, yeah, maybe, maybe the big Polaris sign on the side of the box you know, should have cued you in, and that wasn't for the KRX. I don't know. Yeah, yours is cost. I mean, I'm not a, the, I'm not the correct guy here, but you got a cost out here. You know, that between cost out and Polaris. Come on, cost <laughs> now, now, coming from the guy who, 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 five minutes before we started filming, said this was eight thousand dollars. And asked how much this cost me. Like what? Five? Like that? What's that, Brian? That's like five thousand dollars, ain't it? <laughs> D to D. <laughs> we'll have plastic. That's the rear tail light guard for the KRX. <laughs> Yeah, those are gonna look good. I like those. Those Kawasaki accessories, man, they do them right. Yeah. I like them. Except for the trailer hitches. <laughs> yeah. Do not buy the Kawasaki trailer hitch because the way they bolt on. <laughs> yeah, they're a pain in the ass. 
<laughs> All right, see so anyhow, this is what we got going on. We're gonna be getting that crap installed. Come on, guys, mechanic corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Randy. Yeah, right. I'm hardly the mechanic here. Yeah, you're hardly a man. But <laughs> said, "Pop this off." <laughs> yep, just pop the plastic cover off. Well, I don't want to break it. it it's good and thrown away. You're good. Mm. <laughs> That's not gonna. <laughs> Mongo man. <laughs> you want to step in there, bro, to give him and show him how to do this? Oh my God! I'm the brain. Hold the bolts. Not the brain. He's on this side. Oh, yeah, you broke it loose, didn't you? <laughs> All right, Randy, set that thing up on there. Let's see what it looks like. This, the front brush guard here. Headlight guard, right behind Brian. Right here? Yep. Oh, we're setting right on top of there. <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Just. It sits up on they're, top of here. They're like <laughs> <laughs> That's where I had it. You were laughing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, guys, this this is such an easy install that even Mongo can do it here. We got <laughs> we got four bolts to put in. Do you think you can handle it? Huh? Huh? I'm, I'm taking best you can. <laughs> Show him where they lost went. one bolt. There was one separate. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Show him where they go. <laughs> There's a hole down underneath there. You can feel it with your finger. Then you got to look up and you got to find the the brush guard. Top no top drawer or second to bottom drawer on the right side or, or second from the top. Yeah. Smaller than the hole. What's that? I'm sure this is the right size because it's like not even, that's a lot bigger. It yeah, thread, it goes through the hole in the in the original bumper and threads into the other one. Well, there's a hole, but... Maybe you got to move the bumper around to get it to line up. It's quarter inch dry. You want to get that going, bro? I see where, I see where it goes. Did you see a plumber? <laughs> you didn't have that on your No. You're going to talk about being a plumber. Two bowls each side. One comes up from the bottle, one from the side. But that thing looks mean. I love it. Righty tidy, right? Just the ox. These things get the bean pile of good chapter at the end of it. Righty, do you think you find a left handed screwdriver? You guys make it fun of me, don't you? Well, that's 
screwdriver. Yeah, left-handed screwdriver. Never heard of a left-handed screwdriver? I don't know, they got one started. We're a little bit tricky to line up the bolts, because I mean, being four legs on it, they just a little bit tweaked, so you might have to put the old torque wrench on a little bit and twist them around. You want to go until you feel it get loose and then back it off just a shape. <laughs> yep. These ones are kind of bitch to get to. Well, goes doing what he does this best. This thing does look good though. Super loud. I think the makes it fun into this. Look neat. Later on, we are going to be doing the Bandit Spring Kit on this machine to quiet down the, mainly for the quiet, the quiet suspension aspects of it, and it's a little bit better uh, spring uh, quality than the Kawasaki. And, uh, as soon as we get that lined up, we'll send that video out too. This thing looks beefy. What do you think, Randy? It does look good. Now, you guys explain to the audience what this does for your vehicle here. Well, what do you think it does? Protect the motor from mud and more mud getting into it. Um, running it front end of things. Yeah, mainly mainly protects the, the, the motor from getting mud in it. Yep. Um, that's one of the, the main aspects of the, uh, the headlight brush guard. So. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys installing right now? The, these are the rear taillight guards. So we're gonna get two of these. And usually my wheeler does not look like this. I mean, I've got the dirty, just for the fact of reviewing mud flares. Um, we're gonna put the Kawasaki extended ones on and try those out, see how they work. Yeah, we were down at Hatfield and they were absolutely, we have two of these. Um, we, they got absolutely covered in mud. It was ridiculous. Actually, if you get a shot of that one, the, the mud was so bad, it's, it's got the suspensions almost sacked out. I yeah. Mean, the mud guards. Then, we've we seen another guy down there, he had the, the, the Kawasaki brand flares, and it, it, all, it was a world of difference. So, yeah, they have one of these bolts and one of these each that are going to go up through here on the bottom. Then we got this is a two piece clamp design. I don't want to take hold that guard to just jump. Bring that around. Got these. So we're going to do one's going to go here with the nuts, and one's going to go on the other side with just the holes and the clamps around the bar for set in place. For the for the view for the viewers who don't know what the Hatfields is, tell them what the Hatfields is. If, if anybody's watching, watching this, they know what Hatfields All right. the trail system is. <laughs> Alright. So what's the thing? There's different length bolts. I was actually I would say there's longer bolts are probably going to be for in here. I think the nut one's 
first one to go out here so you can get to the bolts from there. Yeah. Trying to find the right tools here. Tools don't need. <laughs> I know you're a tool. The only tool you play with is one you're born with. Yeah, I tell you what. When we were growing up, we were we were poor, and if we wouldn't have been <coughs> born boys, we wouldn't have had anything at all to play with. So. <laughs> Some of us were given more to play with than others. <laughs> About the three wheelers? Yeah, when we were younger, in our old three wheeler, Randy. Oh, the rip story. <laughs> it's funny down the street. I don't remember no, the rip story. No, we had to work our ass off to get the damn thing started. As soon as he hops on it, an automatic cut shift. We want more than bolts. That was when we had to run and run, run and push it to get it started. Push start. <laughs> yeah. 19, what, 84, 85? Yeah. Uh, we had lawnmower. 83. 83. Lawnmower yeah. tires on it. 185 on the three wheeler. It was a gym. We so had uh, no seat. We just had an old, like, uh, I think you had an old. Radio chair uh, cushion that we'd strap onto it. No fenders. Couldn't get tires. Had fenders. Had fenders. It, did, it, did, have, it did have fenders, yeah. yeah. That was all. Remember, we had to pull the fenders off, so. In the, snow, in the snow, we couldn't start it, so Tristan had to pick the back end up, and I'd take the back wheel and spin the back wheel until we get started. 
that's the gear that we're doing. And, you know, Hondas are known for how easy they serve cold. <laughs> 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 we put 10,000 10, miles on that thing if we put one. I swear. And then had the two piece rear wheels. And we couldn't keep the damn thing. We, we never had, I, we don't know. I can't remember. We just had a gas. Gas so have an over again. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have that. We just had, we'd still still go around my dad's work truck and try and get them to seal up. And ride them on the Walmart tires. Oh my God. The piece we ever left the I'm surprised it ran in the snow, but it did. What's that? I'm surprised it ran in the snow, but it did. <laughs> Barely, we drove up down, <laughs> the, down the alleys behind our house. Yep. That's uh, Man, that looks good. I like it. Install on one side complete. There you go. Yeah. You guys see how that looks? Yeah, bring it in there, sure. Man, that, that fills in nice. It falls body on it's nice. Nice. That's beefy. I like the I way like it co that, covers it. Yeah, it looks good. Looks really good. Alright, my mistake earlier. These are from UTV Direct, not Super 8 TV. Either way, they're, they're worthless. Maybe they'll work better out west or something, but east coast with the mud, it's ridiculous. They, 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 did, they did nothing. So, look guys, we're gonna have some more cool videos coming out. We're still doing the Youth Quad giveaway, so if anybody knows of any uh, cheap or free, I like free, Youth Quads, anywhere within the three hour radius of Maryland, hit us up and let us know if you know a kid looking for one, or that would be deserving one, let us know. Uh, we're trying to get that put together as soon as possible. We'll try and do as many of those as we can. We're going to be at Mines and Meadow March 13th uh, for their pot of gold ride. Uh, so we're trying to do uh, trail side stories up there. So if anybody wants to meet, do a small interview, let me know. Um, and we're going to be doing more crap like this. We have trail armor, uh, skid plates coming for this. We have the, the Kawasaki brand mud flaps coming for this. Anything else you got coming for the KRX? Um, the shock therapy spring kit. We're going to be doing that. Shock therapy spring kit. Uh, I think that's it for now. Maybe we're going to contemplate some new tires. Uh, we still got to do the bushing kit. Let um, me go over why that's even happening right now. Uh, what do you got, Randy? Uh, once, we, once we reach 100, 100 subscribers, our 100 subscriber gets these free goggles. Yeah, the 100 subscriber, 100% goggle giveaway. Oh, and also in upcoming videos, Mongo's going to learn to ride. <laughs> we're going to pick back up where we were when we were teenagers. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.